Uh, what happened was is uh, he was talking about the stuff that he didn't been through. We was both comparing each gang stuff that we didn't been through. I was telling him about how I didn't shot stuff up. He was telling me how he didn't shot stuff up. And this was all at no yeah. jumper spot. Yes. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk. We gonna get out of business. You know, I heard about the trip. I seen pictures pop up online. You you jumped up, you know, cause I really I really to be honest with you, when you first came at me with the openly gay uh rapper crip, all gangsta that rap. gangsta gangsta though and all that I really thought you were tripping. And I really <laughs> didn't believe you at all, nigga. I was like, that nigga tripping, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people even in the comments was talking about nah he pretending, nah, he doing this for clout, nah, he this, 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 this. I was mm. reading a whole bunch of those and and then they look up and I'm standing next to Crip Mac well you, oh boy, wait a minute I'm man. trying to bring it in there I'm not only you standing next to Crip Mac but you at the Mecca where all the gang members be at this is the member this is the Mecca mm -hmm. this was uh, in LA what part of LA was this in so um I was in uh Inglewood I was in Inglewood LA and we had went to No Jumper. No Jumper is like where everything goes down. It's like a big podcast, kind of like this one. And okay. um, <laughs> we went to the podcast, and uh, that's where all the gangsters was at. All the gangsters was there. I was around so many gangsters and like so many like celebrity gangsters and celebrity. <laughs> what the hell is going on? Celebrity crips, some celebrity <laughs> well, some celebrity pimps. It was some celebrity pimps in there too. Like it was just a lot going on. I, I felt like I was just at the BET Awards. It was just yeah. amazing. Yeah, yeah. But mm -hmm. the thing I tripped out off of, I never would. I didn't even see it coming. Mm -hmm. Like I didn't. I didn't know you were going up to Cali. Mm -hmm. You know, because that's the mecca for where the banging started at. That's and the I, I, gang I knew you capital. had said you had been up there before. Mm -hmm. But then when I see you up there. You you not only up there, but you taking pictures. I seen the pictures. The video ain't came out yet. I can't wait to see the video. Yeah, man. because the last time when he said he was up there, he wasn't up there dealing with no celebrity, you know, clips and all that. He just went up there and the, the incident he talked about. He said he just got some mail. He knocked on the door and he got his mail. This time <laughs> in Compton. In Compton. In this Compton. and made it known who he was when yes. he did. But yes. this time he went ahead and you. Traveled there again, mm -hmm. and this time you got some pictures, yes. videos, and all. So, how yes. did that relationship come up? How did you end up even making getting that call or mm -hmm. anything like that? So, um, everything was going around. I was going viral with the Crip stuff, and then um, the No Jumper interview came out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. They was like, "Okay, we want you to come out." You know, they called me up and was like, "You know." Bring your ass. Mm -hmm. I brought my ass. I hopped my ass in a Lamborghini. I was rolling around there in a Lamborghini. What? Like a Lamborghini. Mm, a Lambo. What color? Purple. Mm, purple. Okay. You were flipping and a purple Lambo through what you was at in uh, Mel uh, Melrose. Where were you at? Orange County. Ooh. Orange. Who, who was in the passenger side? Um, uh, my friend Bree. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, my friend Bree was with us, and um, my management was with me as well. Okay. And uh, one of my homeboys had came with us as well. And we was in the purple Lamborghini. So I just feel like that I'm just not to be fucked with. <laughs> like, you know, like I'm riding around through day hood in a purple Not being Lamborghini. camouflaged at all. Not no bulletproof, no nothing. So, you know, that's how I feel. That's why I just know that I'm just... I'm just that gangsta ass nigga. But how did the Crip just... Mat thing come about though? So this wait a minute, wait a minute, I, cause I, that's the part that tripped me out. You was on, you was on the set with Crip Mat. Uh huh. Now you is a five deuce Hoover. Yes, I had on my orange. And, and he knows that. And he had. He saw that. He got Hoover okay. killer on his head. On his eyelashes. Go ahead. <laughs> How did y'all manage to stay in the same room without being confusion? If you gripping like that, everything man. Everything was so, well, okay. So everything was very respectful. Like, you know, uh, the only thing that I didn't like is that he kept on banging on the table like it was a drum. I was like, is this a table or a drum? He kept on banging on that motherfucking table. And I just, you know, I was like, I'm just going to just get through this. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to do anything to disrespect nobody's other hood or nothing like that, you know, because I I want I didn't want to go in there like that. I wanted to go in there being respectful because I don't really care about what color anybody got going on. I don't care if they would have came in there with red. I don't care if a blood would have came in there and sat down. I was just happy to be there, mm. you know. So um, it, he's a very 
aggressive person. I'm not gonna lie. Crip Mac is a very aggressive person. Uh, he showed us his tooth. His tooth can come out like Christian Rock's. What? You know Christian Rock? He can, so he got a container. He yes, he has a detachable tooth on his teeth. <laughs> A portable veneer. Mm. And he took it out <laughs> and showed us. A portable a, but wait a minute. You say Crip Mac had a portable veneer? A portable veneer. Detachable kind. The kind that you could just snap in and snap out like Christian Rock. Yeah. He just didn't have no pitch on his. That's and so cool. so how did the conversation come for him to even show you that's what he have? He just said because, Can he show you? Uh what happened was is uh he was talking about the stuff that he didn't been through. We was both comparing each Gang stuff that we didn't build. I was telling him about how I didn't shot stuff up. He was telling me how he didn't shot stuff up. And this was all at no yeah. jumper spot. Yes, this was okay. all done. Wait a minute, and then y'all just sharing like moments, yes. like like moments where y'all had to put some work in for your crip ability. Exactly. Exactly. Yes. He was telling me the stories about stuff that he didn't been through in the crip world. I was telling him stuff about what I have been through in the crip world. Okay. And we was talking about <laughs> it. And mm, me, honestly, I'm not gonna lie to you. I really. I felt like by his stories, I felt like my story was a little bit better. Wait a minute, wait a minute. So you think your cripology But he but he he real pressure though. I ain't gonna But lie. why you feel but like he, your stories are better? Cause like I didn't you know, like remember I told you last time I was in a shootout. Right. I was in a shootout, all the windows in the car got busted out. I was in the car with all the windows getting shot and stuff, but I survived it. Okay. Now him, he told me the story about how he went to jail and they all jumped him and shit. And that's how his tooth got out. came about. Uh -huh. About why he had to get a tooth portable right. veneer. Me, no. I survived, did not have to do that. I was okay. I did not go to the hospital, did nothing happen to me. Like, you know, but he, but that, I, I applaud to him though. Like, cause I, I liked that story though. That was a good story. I liked it. Listening to his story, but you know, I'm just saying that you know my gangster is. Yo, you know. cripping and yo, yo gangster cripping yeah. is on another level than crip Mac. Well, I, I, I crip. He, but no, he been really been in some stuff though. I've been in some stuff too, but I'm just saying like with the tooth. That that's how the story came about okay. about the tooth. He he took out his teeth and put it right back in. <laughs> because even when I think about crip Mac and stuff like that, and the things that like you say and the things that you do. I remember when he got DP'd, so it's like that stuff, it can get real, real. Mm -hmm. So even with you being a crip and the things that you say and do and whatever, mm -hmm. do you think that it might be any consequences down the line? Because what happened to him, it didn't just happen overnight. It happened later on because of something he did. Uh, he the ba Basically how the story went was is he was in jail in L.A. County. And he was getting into it with some people in the jail. And, you know, he didn't want to back down because mm -hmm. he wasn't in the protective custody me automatically they're gonna put me in the protective custody is what they was is what he was saying if i ever go to jail in la i'm gonna have to go to protective custody why because i'm gay oh okay. yeah but he didn't have to go there because he's not gay okay so me i wouldn't have to go through that they gonna know to put me somewhere else so you know i would never even have to deal with no stuff like that so that's what i'm saying yeah we on boss talk one-on-one one-on-one yeah we gonna talk